Hi, it's Lynn's from Sweet Natures, and this is our packing guide for going on a Virgin Voyages cruise. As always, I'm joined by Malachi. Hello. Hello, who is recording the video. So yes, going on a Virgin Voyages cruise. Let's see what we should pack. So as past Lindsay just said, this is our Virgin Voyages packing guide. What you need to take with you when you're going on a Virgin cruise. Yes. And you need to take with you a lot more than you think, don't you? Well, for the night time, you do. For the daytime, it's not a problem. As you saw at the pool there, everyone's just lounging around. Yes, in regular cruise gear. Yeah, and a lot more speedos these days. As well. <laughs> I, I, yes. <laughs> but in the evening... They have the parties, especially later on in the evening, and they are heavily themed. They they are themed. This is eighties. Oh my goodness! And they often involve some alcohol as well. I've I've not seen this. Um, wow. Well, let's pass back to past Lindsay and see what guide she's going to give us all. Oh hi! So first of all, we're going to start with the suitcases, and thank you, Level Eight, for gifting us these. These are fabulous. They're lovely, aren't they? They are super. And what's even better is the hard shell. Now, if you ever cruised out of Europe, you'll know that some of the ports are not as slick as Florida, so there's not all the covers to sort of stand... They can be a little bit more open, can't they? They can be a little bit more open, and it can rain. Yeah. Because you remember when we travelled out of Barcelona and we had the fabric suitcases? Which... And Barcelona is a pretty modern yes, cruise port as well. yeah. And oh, in fact, I'd say very modern. Very modern, but they were outside. They still got sold. Yeah, and it bounced it down, and when the actual suitcases got to the room... Things were wet. Yeah, so whenever we've been sort of travelling sort of overseas now, whether it's Europe, US, wherever, we, we, we pretty much always take a hard case. So um, thank you, Level 8, for these very hard cases. And big as well, because we can get loads in these. Because we now only have to take two cases, which means we don't have to pay for a third one, as long as we keep under the 23 kilos. Is it 23 or is it 22? Either way, the big and hard, what more could you ask for? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Virgin don't have formal nights on no, board. Not like the traditional ones you get on some like other cruise nights. They do have themed nights, and those are Scarlet Night, yeah. the 80s late disco night, and the pyjama party. Yeah. So we're having to pack for those three nights. Now, yeah. this... now to be fair, it's not as hard to pack for those ones as it is like, having to have a black tie and stuff, because... You still need to source them, though. Still have to source them, absolutely. And in respect of weight in the suitcase, I have gone a little bit mad. <laughs> because I've gone for a full-length sequined gown, which is not the lightest of things. But I thought, huh, it's my birthday. I'll, I'll get a sparkly dress. So that's um, what I've done. Whereas I've got, for Scarlet Night... You've got, I like... A, a lovely like, red waistcoat, which we're going to put with a t-shirt and a shirt, depending on where we are and what we're doing. Yeah, because that's one of the things in particular with Virgin. It is a very relaxed cruise. Yes. In terms of there's not that formality. You're not expected to wear a jacket and a tie. No. But people do dress up. They do go snazzy. They do go snazzy. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Now, this dress, I've also got a Scarlet Night. This is the A dress. I also have a B dress because... You, well, you yeah. Well, you've got stuff that goes on earlier in the evening for dinner, for, for shows dinner. and the dinner yes. and music that's going on. Yeah. But then it goes on to the top deck yes. afterwards. And apparently, you get wet. Well, people do have a tendency to jump in the pool, whether we do or don't. There's a strong probability of splashing. There's a strong. I can't even say it. Probability that I won't end up in the pool in this. Not because you've got a different dress to change into later I've on. I've got a different dress because I would if I did jump in in this. I feel they'd have to close the pool. And yeah, the, the, there would be sequins. Galore. Everybody be sequined. So yes, that's Scarlet Night. <laughs> So next up we have the pyjama party. Which is actually on the first night. It is, yeah. So you go back to your room, I think about 9.30, 10, and put in your 
pyjamas and then it's on the top deck. I think it might start even as late as 11. 11 o'clock? I know. Ooh, that's a late night. I know. So we we bought some pyjamas specifically for this because, to be fair, if we're just in the cabin, I'm just in like a pair of shorts. Yeah. And that's not really what the thing is. And you might just have like a little nighty on. A little nighty? I mean... A nighty. And <laughs> my negligee. Um, Pyjamas-wise, I've gone with a classic split pyjama and then I'm going to go shorts, but I've also got the... Um, trousers in case it's cold. Yeah, because that, that's the other part of it. The pyjama party is held on the top deck. Yeah, now there are blankets apparently. I also got a scrunchie and an eye mask. So I'm going to be really cosy. <laughs> ready for no, bed. To, <laughs> to be clear, that was all part of the pyjama pack. Let's just say I'm very coordinated. And then you went for some silky ones as well like me and we're going to be called well kind of coordinated because you've gone with um, the blue as well i have uh, and again they look huge in front of you <laughs> 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 but yeah they're, they're not the normal sort of thing either way. but again you, you gotta remember with virgin it, it's a, a funkier ship uh, yes. and people do tend to dress up a little bit so dress up a little bit dress up a lot i suspect we dress will dress up a little bit yeah but i think we'll probably be the sort of more normally dressed within the pyjamas there. We'll see, we'll see. Let's, let's magic some footage. There will be some footage let's appearing. Let's do that now. And then the final one of the parties that, yes. that we're taking specific clothes for is the... Toga party. <laughs> it's not a toga party, is it? No, it is. It's the 80s party, which is held in the manor, but it does apparently spill out yes, throughout, it, it, the ship. throughout the ship. So we had to get some 80s styly. Esque. Now, I didn't go Pat Benatar or Madonna. Which was of it. You did look at a Madonna type outfit at one point. But I kind of like to wear that. Normal. No, actually normal sort of jean jacket type wear. And a, and a headband and things. Yeah. That's sort of, and a bit of... That's Wednesdays. That's frou-frou going on. So <laughs> I've gone for late 80s. Um, and I feel that I will need to see Dr. Margarita before I put this on. Because it's got a zip. I won't be wearing it that long. But you see what... <laughs> well, intentionally you will. You'll have to be on zip duty. Like, yep. you'll be zip monitor. But yeah, I've gone, I've gone a bit... I've gone late 80s. Yeah. So, yeah. And then you've gone um, late 80s too, so we match. But we are not wearing these to dinner. Because I feel people will think that we've actually thought this was <laughs> dinner clothes. So, yes. Um, yeah, so I went with more of a sort of electric yeah, style. Yeah, electric top. neon colours. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, as you said, the, the parties for all of them, Scarlet Night starts a little bit earlier but really kicks in later. But the other ones kick in at sort of 10, 11 o'clock at night when they start, which is very late. It is late but for us. But also, it means that when we're going out to dinner earlier, we're going to wear something different. We're, we're not going to have it where... Because obviously if we get anything down yeah. these, we and haven't got a change of outfit. Out, you know, on an excursion or something, we'll just... We'll, we'll just go to dinner in, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. sort of get changed after that. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. Yes. Well, we better get on with packing, haven't we? Because we, we need to set off very, very soon. We better, right? So you're joining me now as I start putting the things in the suitcase. You mean packing? <laughs> but well, I start packing. Thank you, Mark. What would I do without you? <laughs> so, um, now, I'm not a folder. I'm a roller. So what I do is I am... Um, I mean, I know that looks quite folding. <laughs> but then I, I roll it like this. And then when we get to the other side, and look, it goes in like that. 
when it gets into the side, you just give it a, a waft, and it, and all the and the, we find that the creases drop out. Yeah, works for us. You've been on conferences where I've sent you on shirts, and the guy you've been in the bar first, and the guys have been, how come you're not having to iron your shirts? Mm. And you're like, ah, the secret. The secret. So yeah, they see. Look, I'm rolling. Not folding. One of the bits I do like about these cases, apart from the really deep, because we can see from as you pack in there how much room we've got, we'll better put two or three, is they have like these little storage compartments like that, so we can separate things off. And we've got these sort of little bags for putting makeup in and electrical wiring and all sorts of stuff like that, which is a nice bit of space, isn't it? They're so deep, these cases. But look, your shirts fit perfect. So I can Tetris it. Well done. Thank you. I'll let you get on with it. Thanks. How's it going? Well, as you can see, it's all coming together beautifully. Now I've put your t-shirts in this side. Lovely. When we get to the other side, when we get to uh, the ship, t-shirts can go straight in the drawer. And Whereas these all want hanging. These all want hanging. And they're all packed in lovely. And now I'm getting your underpants in. Thank you. Why have we got a bin bag there? He says knowingly. It's, um, I always take a bin bag because what I do at the end of the night and what you do is we put our dirty things in here and we keep it out of the way so yep. that when we're packing to come home, we basically just plonk the bin bag. So the bin bag in there? In the, in the suitcase and you know that that's your washing. Yeah, absolutely. And it keeps everything separate because if you do take too much and you have some clean things, at least they're not all together. Fantastic. Oh, right, I'll let you get on. Thank you. We're nearly halfway there. <laughs> How's it going? Um, well, as you can see, your side, well, your, your suitcase is, is nearly there. Would you like to know the method of my madness? I would. Is that scarlet night dress I see going in? It is, it is. I'm putting it there so that I can get it straight out when we get arrived. So, we in the little section, I put your t-shirts so that they can go straight in the drawer. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier. I know. And then, sorry. And then <laughs> um, on the bed, when we put the suitcases on the bed, we usually, there's drawers in the area. Obviously, yeah. Obviously, I own that. And that means we can put socks and underpants straight into um, the drawers and leave in the things to hang up, which should be all lovely and compressed. Fantastic. Now, some people might be going, why is Mark just letting Lindsay do this by herself? <laughs> well, there's two reasons for that. One, because Lindsay makes it an art form, and mine would not look anything like that. But secondly, I'm doing all the electronics and all the other bits and pieces you are at doing the same all time. You're, you're in charge of passports and things, I and am. insurance, and car parking, and that kind I'm of thing. I'm getting the car ready and I'm everything else. Kind of so I'm, you're doing this, and I'm doing the other bits. I'm taking another sparkle. Oh, that's a lovely sparkly dress. Yeah. Another sparkles. You need the sparkles for a Virgin Cruise. Right, I'll be back soon. All done? Mm hmm. A oh, lovely packing. Oh, lovely packing. All the sparkly things. Yes. Now we've, now we've got to weigh it now. Fingers nice. crossed. <laughs> right, Lens. Next stop, Athens. Well, thank you, past Lindsay and Mark. Thank you. We're, we're here. Well, at the airport. We are at the airport. And past Lindsay was very organised when she was doing that packing. She was, but look at me wheeling that. Look at him. And I'm very glad that we had luggage with good wheels because they moved us from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1. They were like Daleks. And we had to go on the Sky Bridge. And then when we got to the plane, um, we had to go old school and went on the tarmac. We did. And then we got to Athens. We had the walk of us, well, yeah, the escalator ride of his lives. Well, that's it. If you've ever been to Athens... Well, certainly if you've ever been to Athens and gone on Jet 2. There's our luggage. It is. It's always nice when you see your luggage. And it's easy to spot. It is. Athens has got a huge walk from where we got on to where the baggage claim is. It just kept going and going. Yes. And going. We didn't have to pull baggage at that point. Look at them. I know. Uh, they made it intact. I know. And I always think they're very Joe versus the volcano with that trunk style. And that's why but I picked them. So big and, and so spacious. Anyway. Enough of the luggage. <laughs> Just talking about Virgin. Looking back on it now, do you think that we took 
the right things? Were there anything that we missed out on? Because at the time that we were packing, we forgot about the wee fancy night. Yes. And you'd already packed that gold sparkle. I didn't wear that for wee fancy night. Did you oh, not wear that one? No, I wore the blue one. Oh, you did wear the blue one. Thanks for remembering. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of alcohol on that cruise. As you can see when we're looking on here, it it is a Ooh. very, very relaxed... Hello. Hello. A very relaxed cruise where... People are wearing what they fancy during the day, but really do get dressed up quite a lot at night. Oh, it sees me in my jeans. <laughs> well, this is early on in the night. This, this is, is the first is, night. It is, but it's also... When people at the restaurant, you'll often see them in shorts and jeans, but then in the evening when it gets 10, 11 o'clock and the party's kicking, That's... everyone's getting dressed up. Yeah. Now. Oh, I love them chairs. They were really comfy, weren't they? Yes. So looking back at it, do you think that we're anything Oh, we... Harriet! <laughs> you just shout out random names. Yeah. Anything that you think that we didn't take that people should be thinking about? Um, that is a very good question. I'm just trying to think. No, I don't. I think we took everything. Maybe some nicer tops before I put on the frocks. <laughs> just something a little bit nicer. Just yeah, yeah. I only had t-shirts. That's I was there in, in for dinner in the test kitchen in a t-shirt. But again, we'd like to say a huge thank you to Level 8 who did gift us those cases and they will be coming on with us on every other cruise going forward. They certainly will. Um, because there were ample space in them and really fantastic. And not a crease. And not a crease anywhere. Well, that's the end of another video, Lens. Oh, well, thank you, darling. Oh! Cheers, Lens. Cheers, darling. And thank you for watching and have a lovely day.